come to take on the Nameless King again. Since this is my new game plus two playthrough. And consequently my third time facing the Nameless King. One thing to note is before you activate this bell, you do want to make sure that you've finished off anything else you want to do in this area, including the Path of the Dragon to get the Twinkling Dragon Stone, as well as any of the other loot in the area. Because once you activate this bell and the storm rolls in, you will be unable to access that lower area until after defeating the Nameless King. That's just something to keep in mind. Like most bosses in the game, once you've defeated them a few times and got a feel for the mechanics and used to the timing of your rolls or when you want to block, depending on which way you play the game, it's not too bad. But the first time you come across him, especially if you are pretty low level like I was, he can be a real challenge. Especially the main thing with this first phase, as you can see, he's on the Storm Drake, or some type of dragon type thing. The main issue here is the camera angles, because it can be hard to see what Nameless himself is doing, as he, you can see there he lunges forwards with his sword spear. And then the dragon itself can breathe fire, like now. It can also jump directly up into the air and breathe fire down. And that is one attack that you want to avoid. Because especially if you're at a low level and don't have any decent fire protection, you will die instantly if you're caught up in the furnace. So as you can see there, that was pretty good run as far as that dragon goes. That is definitely not something to expect first playthrough because my character is a pretty high level now being the third playthrough and the Black Knight Greatsword is a hard hitting weapon. But now it's time to take on the Nameless King himself now that we've made him angry by killing his pet. At least we don't have the issue with camera angles. So you definitely don't want to get hit by that dive. The main thing here is just to survive through his combos and then get a hit in, maybe two if you've got a quick weapon, but definitely do not get greedy. Because if you get caught up in his combos like that, it can easily kill you if you're not careful. And that is a move that can result in you getting stabbed clean through by his spear and then you'll take some lightning damage and then he'll throw you away. This was the first real, I guess, wall that I hit as far as bosses go. Like I said, because being at a lower level and being the first real test of endurance bosses, it really is just about being patient and just slowly chipping away at his health. So even now, at a higher level, you can see that it's capable of dishing out some pretty high damage. And keep in mind that this Silver Knight armor set that I've got this time around does have pretty decent lightning damage. And then Havel's shield has 100% physical damage resistance as well as 95 lightning while blocking. So the damage that you can see me taking while blocking is just a tiny percentage 
of what he's capable of dishing out. But surprisingly, that was a pretty clean run. Did get hit a few times, but that was pretty good. So now you'll see the storm will roll away and then you'll have access to the lower portion of this area again. And with that, the Nameless King has fallen. Really is an enjoyable boss fight. This game does have some standout bosses, which is good. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.